Curzon Minamai Knightsbridge. Uh, it's Sunday the 25th of March and we're in the projection box the cinema. We're running the uh, Cider House Rules at the moment. Opened it up, our last film, as we'll be closing in May 2000 for good. Looking around your projection room, I think it's it's got so much character. You must have had some really good times over the last 20 years. Oh yes, we have, we have, we have. There's been some ups and downs, and we've had our little bit of dramas like everywhere else. Yes, but, and we've had, but we've. I think over the years we've all had a laugh, and a lot of people have passed working through the doors here who've been very. Uh, special people and we still stay in contact with quite a few of them and they've all gone on to better things but this was their stepping stone. You know. oh.
this is your office. Yeah, this is our office here. Yeah. You can see in our view over Knightsbridge. Well, that's a nice view, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You must see a lot of things going past here. Yeah, I mean, it's been sort of. You know, it seems. Uh, we used to see lots of people getting run over. Oh, no! <laughs> they put the railing up. Yes. Uh, being so close, oh well you are actually in Knightsbridge, so you're not close, you're here. Did you ever see a source like royalty going by or you know, yes. limousines or whatever? Oh well yes, we've had uh, our fair share because of the hotel. Queen used it as a private dining room when it was known as the Tattersall Rooms. Wow. Um, and so Princess Margaret, Diana came, the Kents come, Princess Michael of Kent. Um, and because they sort of found us as, you know, the security found us a safe haven. They were yes. quick off the road, so they could draw up. And they came in and there wasn't a huge crowd. So so we've MPs, that sort of people, oh, right. people who have, and quite well-off people using the hotel. Yes. Woody Allen, lots of uh, Al Pacino, those kind of superstars that wow. like to be incognito. Yes, know. oh, it must be fantastic so, seeing all these people being here. Yeah, well, we've... Um, We've seen a few sites over the years as well, and um, um, it's on the whole been. It seems to go in waves. I mean, suddenly yes. um, nothing happens, and then suddenly you have a whole rush of them, and the limousines yes. turning up, which always does the punters good because they like to, you know, they can rub shoulders, and That's so right. there used to be a thrill in the auditorium if someone famous was yes. sighted, a film star or something, and everyone can see each other so easily because yes. it's a small auditorium, so. You know, so there was always a, a nice buzz about the place. Uh, Did you get a lot of guests coming in from the hotel? In the beginnings, when the cinema was built, it was meant to be a, a cinema for a hotel. Mm -hmm. This was pre-video days, pre-cable. Yes. But on the whole, over the years, it, it's more or less turned into a businessman's hotel. And, right. and it's not so much a townhouse as it used to be. Mm -hmm. I think they all died off, basically, the, all the old oh. aristocracy. <laughs> yeah. And it's sort of uh, more kind of businessmen and, uh, you know, people who... And it's got videos, ISDN lines and oh, so yes. on. Well, Brilly, thank you ever so much for being such a wonderful host and let me coming into your wonderful cinema. And it be sadness is closing, but... Uh, I wish you well and thank you ever so much. Thank you, Fred. It's nice to have a record that somewhere, you know, that the, the spirit of the place will live on in, in someone's record and archives. Oh. So good for you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Okay.
Wow! This is how cinema used to be <laughs> and the way it should be now. <laughs> That's fantastic. That's my ticket. Yay! Five admissions. Oh, God, let me show on the screen as well. Oh, right. Imagine European cinema and cinema.